I'm going to go over the best warding spots for the early game, mid game, and also warding spots that might get you challenger. I don't know. I'm getting pretty close using these tricks. We do not care. We'll first go over the early wards, which are the wards that you place from the first minute of the game to like three minutes. These wards are best for spotting out jungle ganks and also just to get more information to make better decisions. So let's say you're playing mid lane. Uh, the easiest ward you can really put is going up here and putting a ward near the raptor camp. This will spot out if the enemy is doing a two camp clear. One, two. And then they go straight down to mid level two and start ganking you. And also the same can be done for red side map. You can just put it near the raptors and still spot out the same thing. There he is! Let's say you're playing one of the side lanes, like bot lane. Usually, I think a good ward is to just to, uh, to put a ward in the middle of the river like this. You can spot out the river portion and also the jungle entrance portion uh, from where they're ganking from. So let's say a jungler starts here at blue. If, if the jungler is like Nunu, he could start rolling his ball and then gank bot. But with this ward, you can see him rolling and have more time to react to his gank. Or if you're starting red side, you could put a uh, ward in the tri bush where Nunu, I guess, an early jungler would start coming over here. And of course, you have more time to react so that you don't die. This could be the same for top lane, but just mirrored. All right, on to the next one. I call this one the blue gromp ward. Uh, can you guess where it is? I don't know. Let's say you're on red side. A good ward to put is um, where you can see both the blue buff and the gromp. Or you don't have to see the gromp, but you can have the vision of them uh, of the jungler clearing the, uh, the gromp. And as a top laner, this is a really good ward that you can put at like level 1. You start invading level 1, put this ward down, and then you can see if a ganking jungler does like a 3 camp clear red to blue to gromp, and then starts walking top for a gank. This ward could easily spot them a mile away and you would have time to back off to make their gank useless. All right, now we're gonna go into the mid game wards. The mid game wards are most useful when looking out for roams and also rotations through the map. So let's say you're versus a Roman mid laner like a Zed or Katarina. A good ward to put is just one in the middle of the lane between these two pillars. Boom. So let's say you've cleared all the minions and you can see the assassin going or rotating down to bot looking for a roam and you don't have to be anywhere near them to find out this word is a really good counter to these roaming assassins you could also replicate this if let's say the tier tier one tower is down you could put the word way farther and you could see the rotations or kinks coming from uh from from coming from mid you can see the enemy walk down into bot side and looking for a gank or you can see them top side. The mid lane ward isn't just for spotting out ganks. You could you could also spot the enemy rotating to dragon or baron, which alerts your team to um, go there to contest it so that they don't get the dragon for free. Okay, the next word is what I like to call the um, the high traffic bot word, I guess. So what you're gonna do is put the word between these three walls, I guess. This ward is special because this area is a high traffic zone where a lot of people walk through, possibly or most most likely for dragon and, and to also clear the camps. A really special thing about this ward is that if an enemy were to put a control ward right here, it would not be spotted. The control ward would not spot this and the only way to clear this is if they have an oracle lens. This is a high value ward that is most likely never going to be um, taken down. Now. The opposite of that word is what I call the uh, the high traffic red red side word. Where you want to put your word is in the bush straight across from the red buff. You mostly see the jungler walk through um, in this area to clear the camps and you can see where they're rotating. So if they go from red and then up to Krugs and then they walk back to here, they're most likely going mid. So ping, ping your mid so that they don't die, even though you see it your mid laner might not. And also, most people, most players from red side never walk through this bush because it's not the fastest way. Let's say you're, you're on red and you want to clear top side. You want to, the most efficient way is to start on Krugs and then start all the way down and then clearing bot side jungle top to down. And so you never really walk through this bush 
and so it's it's never checked and this is this ward can last forever because of that and so for that reason you could also just put a control word here this is the best place you can put a control word call your top laner or mid or jungle to put it in this area where this word is never going to go away you could also replicate this on bot side call your bot mid jungle put it here and you can see the rotations if they're coming to dragon all right the next word is called uh is what i call the uh past river wall word I, did, I don't know what so there's this big chunk of wall um on the on the river and where you're gonna put the word is past this wall up in here now this this ward can of course watch for rotations as most wards do you can see if the enemy team is rotating down this path into dragon this path is a common path for when people want to take a take a dragon another use of this ward is to spot out uh ganks from let's say a long range gank champion like zach likes e or fiddles r so this ward will spot them out and will give you enough time to run away before they can just annihilate you all right and then finally we're gonna move on to challenger words only challengers can do this no clickbait at all okay the first word is let's start at bot side let's say you're getting pushed in and you want to put a ward down but you can't because you're in uh you're in threat of them and so the best way to get a ward down in this position is is by putting a ward over this wall it, this is not even that difficult to be honest so if you were to put a ward right here pressing on the wall it would just knock the ward back to where you are which isn't that helpful but what you want is your ward to go over this wall and into this bush and so to do that you're going to want to put your ward past this rock right here uh it can be anywhere just past the rock boom now it's over the wall. This one I think is the easiest, so that's why I started out with it first. Now let's replicate it on top lane. This is uh, a bit, so in top lane it's the same idea for the purpose, but it's a different for where you want to place your ward. So how you want to do this in top lane is place your ward where this long bush thing is. And it hits. Okay, this next ward is really useful when you want to place a ward but not be in danger. So let's say you're going to do dragon as your red side. Walking up to this bush is kind of dangerous because you're just face checking. And a better way, a better way is to just be in the comfort of the pit and putting a ward over this wall into the bush. And the easiest way to do that is to look for this snail. Just click on the snail with your ward and it lands in there perfectly. I believe the best way to really place these words without failure is to just go in the practice tool and practice it. The same can be done for the Baron Pit. Walk up closest to the wall near the tri bush and just place your word on the top left or the tip of this purple rock. If you go a little too far to the right, it puts it uh, out of the bush. So lean closer to the left so that you have a higher chance letting the ward in the bush. All right, this next word is for you mid lane mains out there, including myself. I call it the uh, mid turret bush. So you're gonna want to put a ward in this bush from your turret. To do that, you're just gonna place the ward um, about roughly near this where this tree is, the, the dead tree, and it'll land in there. If you want, you could pause the video and see where my mouse is, my cursor is, relative to the terrain. You also can replicate this on red side. What you're going to want to do is put the uh, place your ward between the big tree and the small tree. These two mid lane wards are really useful uh, for when you're low. Let's say you're like a, a Cassidin about to get dove and they might dive you from this side of the wall. And so this ward will really spot them out and allow for you enough time to get to safety. All right, this next word is what I call the uh, barren bush over. Okay, so your goal is to put the, the word in this bush. But look at this. The range on your word does not reach this bush actually. So you're gonna do a bit of cheating and um, realize that you can actually put your word a bit farther than whatever the radius says. So the max radius is right here. Boom, doesn't get in the bush. But if I go a little over, it's in the bush. And notice how my cursor is outside of the radius. 
um Rito games what the hell you can also do this on the baron pit uh i call this the baron bush over oh, same same idea the radius does not reach this bush but you can still um hover over the bush and okay hover over the bush and still get it in reach by the way a tip is whenever your cursor goes green that means it's inside the bush when it's blue it's just on the ground uh for this ward it doesn't even have to be green for it to be in the bush which is um, a bit buggy Rito games it'll still land inside so yeah that's uh that's very weird okay these wards are actually really good for s spotting out the the enemy when you're doing an objective like baron or dragon because most most likely they're going to be over this wall looking for steel and you could spot them out this last word is what i call the uh red side tri bush bot ward thingy so your objective is to put your ward inside this bush but without having the need to walk all the way over and boom you're actually going to do it from this wall so how to do that is walk up to where you see these two trees the twin trees walk under it i'm inside of it now that's a good indicator that you're the closest that you can be. Now next you're gonna identify these three pebbles that go from um, one, two, three. And you're just gonna put your cursor over the biggest pebble, even though it is out of the range. Um, please fix your game. As long as you're in the big pebble, the war will get, go inside the bush, I've noticed. If it's out, it'll go outside of the bush. But if it's in, it's inside the bush. This ward is really good for when you're pushed up as blue side into into this tower. Like let's say they have a fiddle six and fiddle six can just ult over this bush. You wouldn't want to walk up and put a ward there for it to be too late to find out that the fiddle has already ulted you. The best use of this ward is for that exact situation. Boom, you have spotted them and now they can't gank you because they are seen. And that's it. That's all the wards. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, that's cringe.